America, baby. Yo, Jimmy's back. It's good to have you. I'm excited. It's been boring around here without you. <laughs> so, guys, we were in Saudi uh, for like the last 12 days or something. It, it was a long time. It was crazy. It was a great experience. Uh, I really wanted to make more videos, but we, our hands were so full there at the event that unfortunately didn't happen. But we're good. We're back. Back to content. Back to America. I'm excited. I'm back with my friends. What's up? So, uh, as you guys know, we dropped the web store literally... Um, like right before I left. It was really bad timing because the trip was really last second and so we're really backed up on orders, but look at all of the product laying around. It's everywhere, it's a lot. It seems like a lot. Look how cool this is. This is, I think we're all really excited about this. This is very exciting. Like this is a big moment. Like this is gonna be a whole game changer and of course, thank you guys who have placed orders so far. I appreciate it so much and sorry for the delay. We're grinding to get this done. It's. It's been crazy, and uh, of course, it's Black Friday weekend, so we gotta do a Black Friday sale. Heck yes, everyone loves sales, right? Right, so I'm gonna do 15% off the whole entire store. That sounds like a good that's, deal. That's awesome. That's, that's unreal. So until Monday at like noon, and we're gonna say that, 15% um, off anything. So check it out, link in the description, grab yourself a hat, grab yourself a hoodie, grab yourself a windbreaker, or just grab yourself literally anything. Because What is it, shopjimmyo.com, right? That's it. That's it, it's easy. And it's I think I have a new product on there for the guys. So check it out. It's one that was requested quite a bit. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, so they're gonna have to find out by clicking the link in the description. It's the OG pineapple. As you guys know, before we left, I was dying to get the E30 in the dyno, not only to tune it, um, the tune's pretty close from the last engine, but mainly to find out the number, because we all want to know how many horse puppies that engine makes, right? Exactly. I mean, to go from one engine to the next, we know what the last one made, right? What yeah. was it? 202. Which is crazy for the engine. And it's pretty good. And MPD2, 202 was really good. 202 at the wheels. I like it. So it's a completely stock S52 with an M50 um, intake on it, and that's about it. Um, there's no math on it, so you guys don't have to worry about getting a big, bigger math because it's on speed density. And uh, only downfall is I don't have big enough injectors. These injectors, I already know, at least on the dyno, are gonna be completely maxed out and it's not gonna be safe. But for the sake of video and the sake of dynoing, oh we're gonna dyno it anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, um, we're, as you can tell, we're in a huge rush right now. Uh, Kenny has an open window to let us use his dyno, so we have to run down there right now, do a couple pulls and see how it goes. So uh, I guess, what's your guess? Uh, I'm hoping for, I'd say 245, 250. That'd be great. That'd be great. We'll see what happens. So hopefully my injectors hold up to that. And I'm so anxious, it's about to happen. We'll talk more about this stuff when we get back, but for now? Yeah, we'll see you at the dyno. Kenny's always, yeah, spot Kenny, on. Kenny's always spot on. No, I'm not making. I gotta. Ah, I'll no. wait until we we're like halfway through, and then oh, I'll make a. No, no he's not cheating. I it made 202 the last time I did it. This is a different motor. Yeah, so you should have an educated so, guess. No, no, no. We're going from an M52 to an S52. So we're going from a 328 engine to a M3 engine. So we have about 0.4 Four. liters of displacement extra, which is, and and more aggressive cams. So. That all um, comes out to hopefully about a 60 horsepower plus. Okay. Eh? 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 We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find Let's out. Let's get this thing spinning. First pull, so all we have to really keep our eye on, timing should be close, um, but we really gotta keep our eye on the fuel, just because um, one, the injectors are too small, and two, different motor, you know? Yeah, pretty, pretty crazy. Which it didn't seem to do that before when we were driving it around, but who knows? We'll, we'll just keep going. I'm gonna need you to put about five degrees in this car right now. Why? What happened? You made about 15 horse less than your other motor everywhere. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll fix this. Okay, Ken. We're gonna put like five degrees in it right now. Baby steps. And it was sloppy as all hell. Yeah. Not yeah, bad. Exactly. Oh. Love it, dude. Yep. 
car in the top end, which is nice. Picked up. Cool. All right, we'll keep going at it. Something's happening, definitely. The van is getting sloppy over here, so. As you guys saw, the, the tune was a little wonky, so I shut the Vanos off in, entirely just to see um, if that was affecting us or if it's just something else in the tune, so let's see what happens. All right, guys, so turn the Vanos off and you guys can see it in the low end. There's a big difference in power right here. So this is the, the last run. So you can see it made way less power and torque down low, in which that's what Vanos does, you know, right, gives you yeah. that low end power. As you can see, it wasn't really the Vanos making the slot because it has the same uh, curve to it. Yeah. So that means there's something else. That means there's something else in the map that's actually causing that. So we gotta check it through. I was trying to like quick tune this thing and just like throw some stuff at it I thought it wanted, and it's not really behaving the way I thought it would. So we're gonna actually have to step it up a gear and start trying. So uh, get in there. Let's boy. get back to work. All right. Bing, Come on. Bing, bing. This is rookie stuff right here. Derek would be so disappointed in me. Give it, give it a juice. Look who showed up. You always know when I'm on here. Yeah. Sense it. Well, I got a phone call. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's yeah, what yo, it is. Yo, Jim, Jimmy really needs help right yeah, now. Jimmy's really ruining this right now. Can you <laughs> help him? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, 245? Like, I always overguess these numbers. You said that sounds about right. I don't think so. I don't think that's far off, considering the only difference is the cams and, displacement. and, and 0.4 liters. That's a lot. That's a lot, but like, it made 200, and that was super healthy. A normal M52 yeah. would make, what, 190? Yeah, that, So you yeah. gain 50 wheel off of... True, true, true. Not bad. Aspirated. So uh, I just tried to, uh, as Derek called it, rock star tune. And just like throw some numbers that I thought it would work, it didn't. So we're starting from scratch and really trying it out. It's really messy for some reason, but hell, we'll make it work, right? Get after it. Okay. Hey. Now we're getting somewhere. 256, 246. Oh, finally. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There we go. There we go. That sounds good. I think she's going to make what you wanted. I think you got yeah, a little bit more. I think we're, I think we're happy. Are we taking guesses now? We're getting to that time? No, no. It, it's already way too you're late. All, you're late. We guessed this, so you missed that part. That sucks. All right, so we're good. Let's, let's go. Hey, that means it's already making almost 20 horse more than when I pulled it on, and we were raging on Mexico roads the other yeah. day. Yeah. No, this thing is. You guys, I hope you're excited for the clips that ensue after this dyno session. I'm jealous because I gotta go. Uh, but I'm sure that Jimmy and you boys are gonna have fun later. We'll take a little trip. Trip down to Mexico! What we got there, Mike? That's all she wrote? I think that's all we got. Yeah, we can get like, I think we can get a couple more, like maybe one or two horse puppies if we really fought for it, but like it's happy where it is. And here's that's, your big that's, comparison. That's what we want, so. Here we go. This is the M52 and this is the S52. So I would say that's wow. That's uh, quite the difference. So 256 horsepower, 254 pounds of torque, compared to 200 horsepower, 197 pounds of torque. I would say that's quite the, and that's like everywhere. That's not just like at the peak number, that's everywhere. That's a, a perfect 25% gain. She's ready to slap. Let's go uh, tame this bad horse girl. <laughs> <laughs> what else should I say? Uh, what is it? What do you do? Right, buck that, ride that bucking Bronco there, James. Yeehaw, baby. Ye Yeehaw, baby. <laughs> I got, I gotta go. <laughs> Choppy, right? We, we smoothed out the map. Oh, oh, dude, it feels so good. It does. Wow, okay, now, now I'm sold. Go buy yourself an E30 and put an S52 in it, you'll love your life. <laughs> Try again.
Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so happy you trust me. Like, oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, that was such a blast. No fear. Always. Let them go. But you gotta trust your homies, right? You gotta trust your homies. Wow. I should have primed my handbrake. That was a that was that was a lot of fun. I gotta fix that third gear grind, but ah. <laughs> dude how's it look from the outside fucking hammer. great right <laughs> yeah. so clean looking just oh i love it so good i think second, second gear hop on there was like come on let me go i want to go <laughs> all right one one last thing we got to do boys nitrous <laughs> All right, so the dyno session was a little bit of a mess because I kind of went in trying to be like, trying to rush it and it didn't happen. So I started over and we ended up making 255 horsepower. I think that it was. And I thought that was low. I always do this. Like I always like get, guess these high numbers and I look it up, see what everyone else is getting. It actually ends up being really good. Like I was looking online and it looks like most people were getting around 235 wheel horsepower on a dyno jet. And uh, we made 255 or somewhere around that, like I said. And that's, that's really good. Like. 255 is amazing for that thing. So I couldn't be more happy, really happy in the tune. Um, and it honestly feels ridiculous. Now 250 horsepower might not seem like a lot to you guys, but that's NA horsepower. And that's like a stock engine, like com basically completely stock. And there's always ways to upgrade it from there. So a lot of you guys might know, um, Adam LZ is having his big open house this Sunday, which is a big deal. And um, of course, Adam's one of my good friends, so I'm gonna go down there, and uh, I really wanted the S13 to be done for that, but as you could tell, the S13 hasn't really had any progress, but it's okay. I ordered a new kit for it, didn't come in, it's whatever, whatever. So we're gonna bring the E30. Um, so we're gonna bring the E30, which I'm happy with. It gives me a good excuse to drive it, because the open house one day, and then after that, we actually get to go to the track. It's hoping to do a couple more upgrades um, before then, but the whole Saudi trip kind of uh, put me behind. But of course, guys, if you see me there, say hi. Come check out the E30. I'm really pumped on it. Uh, there's a few more things I got to do to dial it in for the trip, but uh, that's what we'll be doing. So Thursday, we're going to head on to Florida, and it's going to be a blast. So I'm really excited for that content. But um, I kind of rushed through today's video um, just because we had to be on the, off the diner really quickly. Really happy to get that done. I'm so anxious, you guys could tell. And we've, been going, and we've been going absolutely insane trying to get all the merch and everything ready and everything set up. And as you could tell, it's a mess. Jesse, what are you watching? So funny. Four levels of mashed potatoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you haven't gone to the store yet, check these things out. These are my favorite, the, the camo windbreakers. Really, really hyped on these. RJ, you're picky with clothing. What do you think? I uh, definitely like these ones better for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe you're not a camo guy. That's probably true. A, if you're not a camo guy, we got non camo. The sweatshirts, though. These are amazing. These are so soft. They're very light and super comfy. So this is a complete ripoff of an old school uh, Nismo shirt, which is cool. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and of course, guys, we got the camel snapbacks, which is literally my favorite piece. We got the, what did I say? I think you said back snaps. Back snaps. Snapbacks. We got the black hats and we got the socks, which is a cool piece. Uh, my buddy who actually is doing the, um, the print, my buddy who owns a print shop that's doing everything for us, he they actually own the company Function Socks, and so we did a collab, and uh, pretty pretty pumped on it. So we got a lot more to come, and of course the 240 double gauge pod holder, really hyped. This is a cool piece. Uh, this is limited, so if you guys have a 240 or are planning on getting a 240, cop one because I sell them for the same price as the eBay ones. So it's pretty cool. Also got the the t-shirts over here. Okay, show them what's up. 240s and shorties. Yeah, you guys know the OG 240s and shorties. Mm, Love 240s. it. 240s. Terrible car. Great t-shirt though. More importantly, ooh, ooh. the bent place, baby. Alright, so RJ and I, mainly RJ, have been going insanely hard over here. Um, we got everything on the shelves. We got everything organized on the shelves and everything looks amazing. I'm so happy. Like, 
I'm so pumped to do this. You guys have no idea. I really apologize for the late um, return on the first set of orders. Just as you guys could tell, between the Saudi trip and just getting all this set up. Um, I was going to say you were in another country. I was in another country yeah, for the last ten days, but. Um, it's just coming together so nicely, and RJ and I have fulfilled a bunch of orders. Um, as you guys can tell, we got a big pile here, which is amazing. Like the, the fact that you guys want to support me like this is just—it's the coolest thing ever, and I appreciate all of it. And we're getting a good—we're getting a good flow down, right? Oh yeah. So uh, that only took like 15 minutes. Um, it, it, it was a little bit longer, but oh, we're getting more efficient. I'm really excited, and uh, soon we'll be a well-oiled machine. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm pumped because. Um, this was our first batch of stuff, and as you guys could tell, I think we did pretty good. We still have a bunch of stuff in the works, but like for our first drop, I'm, I mean, I'm pumped. Look how much cool stuff we got, and this is I'm just gonna be taking the money and just putting it right back in to get even cooler stuff, and eventually it just, it'll be awesome, and it's just gonna be. It's trial and error. It's trial and error, baby. Trial and error right now. We're figuring out what how the best flow works. Algorithms. Al, Al, Al Gore. Al Gore. <laughs> We gotta, we'll get caught up to orders really, really shortly because uh, we're doing great. Everything's great. Everything's awesome between my, my awesome friends, uh, my awesome now um, new print shop partner, I guess you could say, my buddy Justin, who's really, really, really put on for me to get all this stuff situated and everything. Um, it's been amazing. So um, I've been rambling on at this point, but I'm just super thankful. And today was like the first night we really got into this. And I'm just, I'm so excited. Like I'm really excited too. Like I know I've been slacking the last month and videos like really, really heavy just between SEMA, Saudi, um, just like literally setting all of this stuff has been killing me and everything. Uh, we've been slack. Not I want to say we were slacking, but I know like, Videos have been slacking, but trust me, this will only allow us to do bigger and better things that we need to do, deserve to do, and want to do. Stuff and just wasn't lining up properly. Right now, stars are about to align. 2020 stuff's about to go about down. To be Roaring twenties coming at you. Jimmy's gonna be the next great Gatsby. <laughs> Mark your calendars. We coming for you. So this is gonna be our year of Flex LZ. We're coming for you. So. With that, we're gonna end it. I'm so excited. E30 did amazing. 256 horsepower is ridiculous. You uh, you trying to race? What? See who's S52 is faster? I'm gonna smoke your ass. Yeah. 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 Mine got Jimmy out tune, baby. Oh, I don't. <laughs> so you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Link in description, and we'll see you guys tomorrow night.